Hello everyone, my name is Amin. I'm one of the engineers on the Falcon Saturn team and uh, I handle payments on Falcon Saturn. I'm known as the payments guy, part of some nodes as a debt collector. Um, we've recently started working on switching our payments on FEVM smart contracts. So recently I've been known as the contract janitor and I'm here to share some of that work with you. Um, so some context, if if, uh, however, with some miracle you haven't heard of Saturn during IPFS thing, Saturn is a decentralized CDN that is meant to accelerate retrievals on IPFS and Falcoin. I've been a ton of presentations and talk about this, so if you want to learn more about it, feel free to check it out. But um, going to give us some context on, on what we built. So um, Saturn launched in end of 2022, and when Saturn launched, we required a functional payout mechanism that incentivizes node operators to participate in the network and server retrievals. Um, so crypto econ team and Saturn collaborated to deliver the V0 of payments. Um, and it's working now. We have 2,000 nodes, and they all get paid at the end of every month. Um, but we had some issues. And the two main issues is that essentially the payments pipeline was missing trustfulness and decentralization. And some people weren't happy about that. They were like, hey, you guys are phonies. It's not decentralized. and uh, uh, we were working on fixing that, and then there were some components that required significant improvement. We had to launch payments in like two months, um, so we try to get something that works and improve upon it, and we need to get some components and improvement, things like fraud detection. So today I'm just going to discuss a very small part that we built, which is just targeting decentralization and trustlessness, and here's how, how we approach it. The problem of decentralizing Saturn payouts is really huge. There are a lot of moving components and a lot of things decentralized. And switching to a sudden implementation that decentralizes everything at once is really hard. So we have chosen to make a progressive um, walk where we switch and slowly transition components to, um, um, to payouts over time. And we started by switching our payments to be claimable on FEVM. That means that right now node operators can uh, claim their earnings on FEVM and see like a history of their earnings on a smart contract and that's kind of like a stage one of us starting to to move towards decentralization um, so in, in the sake of time I'm just gonna try and demo it really quickly but here's where it started this is uh, this is our retrieval markets lead Patrick showing the first diagram we came up with on the first meeting in February discussing how we're all gonna build this and uh, yeah, it looked very promising. Um, and here, here is a demo of what we have now. So this is, oh, sorry. To give some context, this is the flow of, uh, of claiming your earnings uh, as a node operator. So this is how it would work. So you can claim your earnings through multiple wallets. This one is just MetaMask. And I wanted to be realistic, so I answered my password incorrectly. So yeah, actually one pain point right now with FEM smart contracts is that we have to use Ethereum addressing to claim your earnings. So you connect to our web application using an Ethereum address, although you do claim your, your earnings for a Filecoin address. And this is on the hyperspace testnet, by the way. All right, so this is a dashboard you see as a node operator. You see yeah, you have some total earnings, some earnings that have been released, and some claimable earnings. You have a, a nice table to display which earnings you have uh, claimed, which earnings that you can still claim, and there are a few ways that you can decide whether to claim your earnings or not. So I think for the sake of this demo, I just select one of the, the, the contract addresses and All right, yeah, and since uh, once you click earnings, it goes to a pending state. And uh, since the block times on the hyperspace testnet are really, really fast, I'm going to skip to the end of this video. Oh. And you can see it switched from pending to released. And then you can go check that on Phil Fox. And as a node operator, that's it. You have released your, uh, your, uh, um, your earnings. And 
Um, last month, we, we started a beta testing program where a portion of our node operators were um, used this web application to claim their earnings, and we released around 4,000 fill worth of earnings, and everybody claimed no issues. So um, within a month or so, we're gonna transition the whole of Saturn Network to claim earnings through this web application, um, and it's all working great. Um, and Okay, well, I'll just keep it like this. So here are some cool things just to share like kind of what we built along the way. Um, everything that you saw is open source and public, and we've built like a few repos, like the web application UI is open source and public and anyone can reuse it. Uh, we built a whole CLI um, using Foundry and Rust to release payments um, and pull payments from our database that is also uh, open source and public. Um, and we, we built some tools for, uh, for Foundry users uh, for FEM that other teams can use. We found some issues um, with using some of the Ethereum tooling that existed for Rust. So we did some improvements and we thought to share those with the community. One really cool thing that uh, one of our engineers built, uh, Alexander Dante Camuto, is that um, he's building a testing network that locally runs on your computer that integrates FEVM precompiles and kind of like replicates what Foundry has. Uh, the goal is to replicate what Foundry has done with things like in various testing and fuss testing and brings that, enables that you can test your contracts um, that rely on FEVM precompiles um, locally. Um, and um, one last thing we built, I already mentioned it, is our beta testing group. So we took kind of a product-led approach to completing this feature. We went to our node operators, we asked them, would you even like to claim earnings using a smart contract on a web application? How does that sound to you? And that's why we formed a beta testing group. That's how we iterated on the UI. As you see, like the UI is pretty simple and basic, but we taking the philosophy of we don't want to we don't want to build things for users that users are not going to use. And the Cassini beta testing group has been instrumental at validating that our smart contracts work, that the features that we build as part of the web application that they're going to use work, and what to work on next um, to enhance your user experience. Um, so there's a lot of details about this around the hood. I'd love to chat or answer any questions. Just wanted to also link some of the people who worked along this along the way. So uh, Dante is the lead for our Web3 working group, and he designed and led uh, um, this project. Uh, Maria Silva was the initial person who designed the Saturn Treasury. She was really involved in designing how Saturn incentives work, and uh, I just worked on implementing some of this. And uh, yeah, happy to answer your questions. Thank you.